Hey guys, so I am just taking a break. I have been folding clothes. Well, me and my fiance has been folding clothes. He helped me with like, I don't know, like two or three loads. And I have about two more loads and a couple of towels in the dryer that didn't get all the way dry. Um, this week has been absolutely busy. I feel like it just flew by. I didn't get a lot of cleaning done because we've been busy. I'd say for the last two weeks we've been busy with appointments, um, getting things done before my fiance goes back to work. We've been doing distance learning as well. Oh. I gave my cats a bath. Yeah. Now, my first cat, I thought, oh, this is gonna go, this is gonna go bad. She's gonna, she's gonna, you know, tear me up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. And it was, it was, um, actually okay which is weird because i've had we've had her like i don't know six months maybe seven something like that and she's three years old and she's a bigger if you the calico um the big fluffy calico cat i don't know if she's in here but i've taken a video of her i believe um, but anyway, I figured that her name's Autumn. I figured that Autumn was going to tear me up. She sat there. She just sat there. Which surprised me because wasn't expecting that. The people that ga uh, gave her to us, they was moving and they couldn't have animals. <sighs> And from what I understand, she didn't like to be brushed or messed with or anything like that. So I was expecting, you know, I was expecting to get tore up. Now my other cat, Storm, she's the black and white cat. She's like a year, year and a half years old. We got her from the pound and when I say It, it went bad, okay? She, it looked like I got into a fight with uh, Freddy Krueger, okay? It looked like Freddy Krueger came in and uh, uh, just attacked my right arm or something. I don't even know. Maybe I, can, maybe I can show you guys. I mean, she tore me up. It's not as bad now. But, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it. She got me. She was not having it. And I was holding her, right? I was holding her and I was like, yeah, I'm giving my cat a bath. Because they need flea baths. Because, you know, the warmer months are starting to happen. And I usually give them a flea bath. And... I use Dawn. I use Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then I use um, conditioner. With my long hair cat, I kind of have to because if I don't, I won't. She, her hair, it just gets matted and everything. Um, so, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, my black and white cat. Ooh. I got her in the bathtub and I was like trying to sweet talk her so that way she didn't know that I was getting to give her a bath. 
she's in that bathtub and automatically just started meowing. I did not get the laundry folded. I ended up talking to my dad who called and I talked to him for about 30 minutes and ended up folding the clothes while I was talking to him, which is totally fine because I don't get to see him that much. So whenever I do get to talk to him, I take it, you know, and just kind of catch up on everything that's going on. So anyway, what I do have for you guys, I did the dishes. So, hope you enjoy that. <laughs>
So as you can see, Storm is doing really, well, she's doing fine. She's just not really interested in the toy. Autumn is the Calico right there you see. She likes the toy. I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, Storm's fine after her bath. Usually they're romping and playing, but she doesn't seem like she really cares at this point. I think she wanted to go outside. <laughs> My son had an English test and a little bit of work still to do. So I am going to be making our bed and then just trying to straighten up our bedroom pretty much because like I said, this week has been crazy. Last week has been crazy. And I just needed to get some stuff done. And usually one of the first things I do is make our bed. Because I just, I feel like, I just like my bed being made, you know? Like it looks better that way. I don't know. I just like walking into our bedroom and seeing our bed made and it clean. I'm sure you feel the same way. Oh, that you, the owl that you are seeing is my Valentine's Day gift and then the little pink puppy dog, you can see its feet. That is a Mother's Day gift from my son a from a couple of years ago. So I usually just put them right up from the shelf of the bed. Isn't it nice seeing everything all nice and clean and pretty, knowing that it's going to get wrecked <laughs> just a couple of hours later? So now I'm starting on our bathroom. It desperately needed done because I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there was hair and dust and it just hadn't been done I think in a, about two weeks. I might have did it last week, I'm not really sure, but either way, it doesn't take long for, for it to, you know, get dusty and Everybody goes in there and uses everything. So yeah, I needed to get on that. Also, the ring around the sink, which I don't know if you really care or not, but that is caulking from where they put the sink in. And it's not dirt or anything like that. I tried to get it off like a million times. Either way, we're probably gonna go over all of this and I don't know if we're gonna paint it. I don't know what we're gonna do. But yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know that that's not like dirt because if I was watching this, that's probably what I would think it, you know, that's what I would think it was. So there's that information. <laughs> so I'm going to go get the glass cleaner. That's what I'm doing right now. It takes me a little bit, so just to let you know if you're wondering what I'm doing. And I swear by this glass and surface cleaner from Dollar Tree. I just sprayed everything with it, but yeah, it's awesome on glass and it gets all the streaks and everything completely going. I love it so much. It's like, it's just an awesome product. And pretty much all I'm doing right here is just wiping everything down. Uh, the size of the walls and the surfaces and the mirrors and just pretty much everything that needs wiped down. And apparently I scratched my nose. Oh, look at that. I did it again. One camera. So, oh my goodness. Oh well, it is what it is. Trying to get all of the stuff off of the walls and right there I was, I'm starting to clean the toilet which you can't see. But yeah, there's that. 
I try to get a good angle. It's actually kind of hard to do and I have like a million things to get good angles but this is the one we came up with for this today so and I'm cleaning the toilet <laughs> oh. oh yep there we go I'm wiping it down and all that jazz and just to let you know I usually take anything that I clean with and disinfect it really good and wash it in the washer by itself so that way it's not with anything else like any of our other towels or clothes or anything because I don't know I just don't want dookie or pee <laughs> when our clothes and stuff you know what I mean I might just be overthinking it who knows and I am sweeping the floor Spraying the floor with Lysol, and then I come in with vinegar and pour a little bit of that in the floor. If you have a little boy and they miss the toilet seat or toilet sometimes, vinegar will help get rid of any kind of odors. And I open up the door to get some air moving through the house. Put the trash bag in. Start putting all the stuff back, all the jewelry that I got tangled together and I was trying to get untangled, but I did it. Yay, go team! I'm silly, okay. Get the mouthwash and all that, put it up. Now I am going to be vacuuming. And this is just the hallway. Yep. Fun times. But it had to be done. Between us living here and our cats. And I don't know about any of the ladies that are watching this, but I lose my hair so much. Like it's crazy. You'll just find my hair all through the house, everywhere. Now I am starting on the living room. I started having Jeremy help me uh, through some of this. Because I'm not going to lie, I started getting tired and over it, kinda. Because this is, you know, sped up, but in reality, it took me like 40 minutes. So yeah, it was, it was a fun time. But I don't care to do it. I mean, it's my mess too. It's my house too. And not only that, I think if somebody else was to do it, I would probably think that they was doing it the wrong way. I mean, I appreciate the help, but we all have our own ways of cleaning and doing stuff. So, and I'm vacuuming the couch, trying to get all the hair, cat hair, my hair, dust, whatever off of it so that way maybe some of my allergies will go away I don't know but I hope usually when the seasons start changing my allergies go crazy and I am sneezing and ugh, it's so annoying But honestly, definitely have to vacuum around the couch and behind it 
because stuff gets back there even if we think it doesn't it does oh my lanta it does is that going stink bugs does anybody else get stink bugs yeah. my cats will chase them and kill them and I don't I don't guess they eat them which I don't blame them but yeah I'll, I'll find I'll find stink bugs and everything underneath everything in my house which I'm sure that's normal especially with everybody home right now everything just kind of gets a little a little bit more messier and then the weather just broke to where my son can go outside and play because he wasn't you know with the weather being so cold like we would go outside for just a little bit and then we would all be right back inside indoors so everything definitely definitely it needs to be cleaned really good and I think it's supposed to be raining again this week coming up so it might stay clean for a little while <laughs> maybe I really don't mind cleaning. I'm gonna be honest. If if it if my house isn't clean, I will get like depressed and grumpy and I truly believe that our surroundings help with how we feel. You know? Like if I just sit down and I don't clean up anything and there's just stuff laying everywhere then it will get to a point where I will just start feeling really depressed And just overlook the curtains. We have to get another curtain rod, which we've known. And my fiance has brought up getting one like a million times. And I keep telling him no. It will be okay. But I think the time has come to get another one. And just that way it will hang right. Because I will fix them and fix them. He fixes them. And as you can see, they just kind of have that like droopy middle. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I'm thankful that we have a curtain rod, but you know, time to upgrade a little bit. Find one that holds them up. It's kind of like needed, I guess. Dusting. Dusting is. It's not that bad. And before I even get over to the little entertainment center, I did not pull out all the games and dust them. And I'll tell you why. Because just the other day, we I had pulled all them out and wiped them all down and put little pieces of the games that was left out and put them in a box and put them in the back so all that was already done and yeah whenever jeremy's at work and not home usually i'm doing this all by myself my son will try to help but then, you know, he wants to go play and do kid stuff, which is fine. But 
it's kind of cool having someone to help while he's home. Especially whenever it comes to his gaming systems because I'm always scared that I'm going to like break one on accident or mess something up like for the longest time I would not even touch them because I just didn't want to do something and tear one of them up that would be so bad I play the Switch pretty much I play Animal Crossing, which I don't know if you see my shirt, but yeah, it's Animal Crossing. That's my jam. I love my Animal Crossing. I don't know if any of you play Animal Crossing. I'm sure you do, or somebody that watches this, or that will watch this does. If you do, comment your favorite um, character in the game. Right now, mine is Olive. And we are starting on the kitchen. <sighs> yeah. So this took, I don't know, it took forever. And again, this is all sped up. But it took so long because, I mean, like, our front door is close to the kitchen. So we don't really have, like, a dust room or anything. And people that when when we come in, it's either we go to the kitchen to get something to drink or something to eat or straight to the living room. So there's a lot of dirt that gets on the shoes because we do live in the country and it just gets spread everywhere. <laughs> I swear I clean the kitchen so much like it's crazy to think the amount of time that I, that I spend cleaning the kitchen today Jeremy's here and I asked him to kind of help because again I was getting tired it's not so bad but with all this COVID stuff and distance learning and I just put like a short clip of my son doing the distance learning you know he had a test and that's what I took the clip of showing you guys that he was doing it and I mean but he did workbook pages and reading and spelling words and yeah hopefully we can just have a couple of chill days because I think all of us are just kind of wore out and tired. And I put the rug underneath our table because the bottom of the table, the legs or whatever, it will leave marks. And it was leaving marks on our linoleum. So I just, we, we went to Walmart one day and just decided to get a little rug or an area rug or whatever it is and put down underneath the table. So hopefully that will help. And it has, but now our table is leaving marks on the rug. So, fun times. And I do plan on getting the rest of the kitchen painted. We have to go get plastic to put down because, you know, we, we don't want paint all over everything. Or, I mean, it's probably going to get anywhere, everywhere anyway, but, you know, try, I just, we want to try to pretty much just not have 
a huge mess and have to go get new appliances, which I'll probably take them off of the counter anyway, but you get what I'm saying. I, whenever I painted that little area that I did and videotaped, um, what you didn't see was there was paint all up underneath it and I got on my hands and knees and scrubbed it and scratched it off and yeah um, the newspaper worked okay but it wasn't the best like I had newspaper stuck to the floor <laughs> so yeah this time we're gonna get plastic and I'm getting ready to mop which here in a minute I start taking up the rug and the table because I'm like if we're gonna do because Jeremy was wanting to move the freezer and I'm like if we're gonna move the freezer and you know do all that then let's just go ahead and do a little bit of deep cleaning and get in there and just sweep and mop everything like the whole kitchen floor which it needed anyway so I'm not really complaining but I'm just kind of like letting you guys know why he just swept it and everything and then you know picked it up so that's what's going on Which I'm glad we did because we didn't think it was that dirty. And then once I got back there, it was like, oh, yeah. Hello. And let the passion come out. I'm the dreamer, dreamer. Time slows down. When I am singing my heart's true song. Comes when I'm dreaming, I know what it takes. Just sweeping away. I'm a dreamer, dreamer I need to choose, need to decide Time to stand up, jump to the Which the vacuum that we, the little vacuum that we got that I use sometimes, it works But I still have to use my broom I just, it doesn't, I just, it doesn't get it good enough So, I still use my broom to get all of it up the rest of the way. Yeah, I had to get that cord clean. And I bonked my head right off of the dag one white. <laughs> that was that was fun. But yeah, that cord from where like hair was stuck to it and just fuzz or you know dirt whatever. It just looked like some kind of creature that wasn't supposed to be there. Pretty much, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a good time. We had to get rid of it. I had to clean it with Lysol. And then I got the windows. Storm's investigating, trying to figure out where the heck her food is because, you know, she's a princess and she she's nosy. Like, all my cats are nosy. They will sit there and look at you and stare at you. Like, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of the video. Mopping. Getting the rest of the floor mopped, pretty much. I appreciate you guys watching. I really, really do. And I hope that I'm getting better. Like, share, and subscribe. And just thank you so much.